Hello. Hello. Is this Chrissy Loves Freedom or whatever your name was? It is I. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Um. So I got to be fair. The messages you sent me were a little creepy, but nothing to be afraid of. Um, <laughs> let's just jump right into it. You made some comments about masks, vaccines. Looks like based on your name, you're not a fan of any of that. The unmasked Chrissy sounds pretty uh, aggressive there. So you want to go ahead and lay out your position? Why, why don't you like masks? Why don't you like the vaccines? Well, first off, I knew that giving up your rights to breathe oxygen was going to lead to now you need a vaccine card to get a job. Uh -huh. uh, I am in the state of Pennsylvania, and right now I cannot work in the state of Pennsylvania without being forced to wear a mask. Okay. Um, Is that because you're unvaccinated? What's that? Is that because you're unvaccinated that you're being asked yes. to wear the mask? Yes. Okay, I so have you considered vaccine. just taking the, the vaccine then? Right. I'm not getting any type of vaccine that could possibly uh, cause my demise. Uh, I also, um, I'm not cause sure because I'm not a scientist, but I also heard that they use uh, aborted fetal cells in the vaccines. Uh-huh. So, um, so sure. So if you're scared of something leading to your demise, that's kind of silly considering COVID is a mu has a much higher likelihood of leading to your uh, demise than the COVID vaccine. Second of all, no, right. they're not. I've already had COVID, though. Do you understand? I had COVID when it How... first came out way back in. That's great. I don't know, so do you think you January. have natural immunity still? Yeah, I think I have natural immunity to it. Well, then and you would be for wrong. For me to get a vaccine would be ridiculous. That's completely untrue. You haven't even let me finish responding to the first thing you said, though. So with the fetal cell lines, uh, no, fetal cell lines, what they are is these are cells that are essentially grown in a laboratory. Uh, when they say fetal cell lines, that's because the original cells came from an abortion in like the 1960s. And since then, these cells have been regrown, regrown, and they're only used in the research. Second of all, every kind of medication you take essentially uses fetal cell uh, stem lines in order to do research. And so you would be like a massive hypocrite if you had that position when it came to the vaccine. But if you've ever taken an aspirin, for example, so like every medication uses these these fetal cell lines for like research and whatnot. But no, you're not being injected with fetal like fetus cells into your body. That is not what's happening at all. Can you prove that to me, though? Well, like, do you want me to send you like a specific article from somewhere or something? Here, here's the problem I have with that, though. Sure. So hold on. Let, Media and articles are all and Google and all these 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 people that feed you this news information. Mm -hmm. Everybody is making stuff up. You don't so know who what you to sound like right today. now is a, so what you sound like right now to me is a paranoid schizophrenic when you say something like that. So no. when you yes, why, why, when you say all the media, no, 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 no. When you say all the media is all. excuse me, when you say all the media is biased, what that sounds like to me is someone who is coping and in delusion and in denial that they are being uh, presented with a wall of evidence that disproves their feelings. And rather than just accepting the fact that they're wrong, they would rather uh, buy into some deranged narrative that all the media is working together to lie. That is just not well, true. Here's what you can't disprove. You can't disprove that people are actually getting sick with heart issues and dying after getting the vaccine. So th that Two is another really dumb argument that I've heard a million times. But before I get into that vaccine. dumb argument, I'd like to first continue to address the first dumb thing you said. So I'd like to read this from you. This is from ne NebraskaMed.com. OK, I'll go ahead and send this to you. Um. Fetal cell lines are cells that grow in a laboratory. They descend from cells taken from abortions in the 70s and 80s. Those individual cells from the 70s and 80s have since multiplied into many new cells over the past four or five decades, creating the fetal cell lines mentioned above. Current fetal cell lines are thousands of generations removed from the original fetal tissue. They do not contain any tissue from a fetus. So even the Vatican, because Catholics specifically are very um, strict when it comes to uh, uh, abortion and whatnot, even the Vatican, the Pope has come out and said, 
You can get the COVID vaccine. It's fine. Even before COVID, even pre-COVID, the Vatican said it was okay to just take vaccines in general because it was so far removed at this point from an abortion. It's not like, for example, if you choose to get a vaccine, an abortion must be like performed. Like it's you aren't contributing to abortion by getting the vaccine. What I'm hearing is that cells are being cloned so they can make vaccines out of them. What, can you explain to me why that's even necessary to give somebody a vaccine? Wait, what, the so the fetal cell lines are used for the research and developing uh, for the right. research you said and development. They're reproducing them in a, in a um, they grow you know, in a laboratory. Yes. They grow so, them in a laboratory like they do with like uh, diamonds and rubies. They can recreate them. That's cloning. That's human cloning. And that, that's not... even worse to me, honestly. So <laughs> do you, have you ever taken an aspirin? My body like that. Excuse me. Have you ever taken an aspirin? Have you ever taken an ibuprofen? <clears throat> they don't use human. They don't use fetal cells. That is a lie. Medication in general not. relies on fetal cell lines. When it comes to research and development and production and manufacturing. So you're being a hypocrite right now. This is I'm, trumped I'm up political hackery. I, I no, 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 no. This is no, you're being a push the vaccines on the people who don't want. Them. No, you're hey, being a political hack right I now discovered. because you're wait, fine. Let me tell you something else I discovered in this whole mess of everything that's going on. I have a 19 year old son who's in the military with a set of dog tags around his neck. Right. So he FaceTimes me from Fort Benning. And I said, let me see your dog tags. He holds his dog tags up, right? And his blood type is on there. I said, wait a second. What does your blood type say? He's got O positive blood. Now, my mind starts going crazy because I know he was born in A negative blood type. So, like the paranoid schizophrenic that I am, not really, but I'm just going along with what you're saying. I went and grabbed his um, baby hospital discharge papers. Yes, I did keep them. And right in there is his blood type as a negative. So when he came home from basic training, I bought a um, blood typing kit off offline or online okay. and I tested his blood. His blood is now coming out of his body O positive. And I discovered that on accident. Like a lot of a lot of people do not know now Are that scientists have changed blood types from A negative or B negative to the O positive. The vaccine is changing people's blood types. Are you serious? How do you yeah. know this? Uh, because I have a 14 year old son who used to watch you, by the way. Um, and I tested his blood and my blood, and we are both A negatives. The only difference between my 14 year old son and mm -hmm. my 19 year old son is that my 14 year old son refused vaccines after the age of nine or 10. That's the only difference between my kids. So... We were all born A negatives. And now my two oldest children are both O positives. How does this happen? Do you understand why I do not trust what people put in the media anymore? No. After I found that this out- This sounds I made very that silly to me again, but I'm, I'm actually trying to like, this to me again, kind of, we're kind of getting back into the paranoid schizophrenic realm here where you're, you're like, well, my kid's blood type changed and then I remembered they got a vaccine. So it was probably the vaccine that did it. Like this sounds no, like, it's not no, 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 no. This sounds it's like a last, two dimensional argument. That's like a, when you're a child. this it's sounds your, like a desperate attempt to like make up some 12. bullshit that is just it's based not, in absolutely I have nothing. Absolute 100% proof. I kept all the blood typing kits. I have my kids' uh, hospital discharge papers, and I have the pictures of his dog tags. So I have 100% proof that somehow somebody I mean, has utilized the gut, your own gut enzymes to change your blood type, and I bet yours have changed. So I very much appreciate the fact that when you first started, you said you're not a scientist, and now you're trying to explain to me how the vaccine changes people's blood type based on I'm your own personal I'm, experience I, I, I of getting it on. Have you ever thought that maybe the, <laughs> did you ever think that maybe the online blood test thing you bought was maybe like defective? No, that seems a lot more, there's a, really? There's that a seems control. a lot more reasonable than no, the vaccine is actually changing our blood type. Second of all, I, I'm trying to find, because again, I can't, mess it up. 
that that's I a, a props for that I have. And if you want, no, 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 I don't need to see the see it, the thing. Ahead. I just I would just like to say props for originality. I haven't heard that one quite yet, actually. However, I am reading here. I can send you this from Reuters. Uh, fact check video does not prove that COVID-19 vaccines cause blood anomalies. So there is a lot of people that are like scared of like the vaccine changing your blood and this, that or the other thing. But it doesn't seem that there's any actual real evidence of this occurring. Second of all, when it came to like the research and the development and the uh, tests and human trials, if something were like changing your blood type, they would have realized that beforehand. So They've I kind of done it. even it's if not, you're even if you had some, so it's even if you your had, last dose of vaccines. It's your last dose of DTAPs that you get as a kid. It's not this vaccine. People's blood types have already changed and nobody's aware of it. But I did, however, research back and find some articles written in 2018 how scientists, quote unquote, they don't explain who, mm -hmm. have found a way to flip your blood type by utilizing your own gut enzymes. So what's the purpose of them giving us all this vaccine to just change our blood type? Like, so uh, just just to be clear, if I could, I if I could really quickly before you answer that, I would like to just give a general summary thus far, which is the vaccine is safe and effective. It doesn't actually have any fetal tissue in it or anything at all. And you went from they shouldn't have to get forced to take something that's risky to, well, my kids got a vaccine and then their blood type was different after I got an online blood test type thing. So the vaccines are bad. Like, you realize why what you're saying to me right now sounds kind of like a joke, right? No, because lots of people feel like me. Lots of people, especially the black and uh, Latino uh, communities and populations. Uh, I work in uh, Hazleton, PA, and it's a very large um, Hispanic population. And they'll wear masks for the rest of their lives if it means they don't have to get a vaccine. People well, that's are really scared. silly. Then I would be happy to talk to them also because that would be very, very dumb for sure. So when we have a vaccine like the COVID one, which um, is safe and it's effective, it's been internationally demonstrated to uh, to be safe and effective for the most part. And so when people are saying, no, I'm not going to get the vaccine. No, I'm not going to get the vaccine. I'd rather wear a mask. Then the only thing that I have to say at that point is like, well, why? You have evidence in your face showing you that this is a safe and effective vaccine and it would be way worse, way riskier to get COVID than it ever would be to get the fucking vaccine. So no, it seems really no. silly. I'm sorry. I, I totally disagree. That's fine. Uh, you can have I those feelings. I did see an article this morning that 70% of the people in the UK that are dying now have been doubly have the double I know shots. exactly what you're talking about. And the way that those yeah. stats were collected was only talking about people over the age of 40 in a very specific group. Well, still, that is, and also, what do you also, want to kill hold off on. All the 40 plus? No. This is do geriatric. <laughs> This is geriatric genocide, in my opinion. All right, please stop. I can I only hold on. My brain can only handle so much like bullshit people. at once. OK, so I'm going to try it's to do not one... bullshit. It is it's absolutely bullshit. bullshit. Everything you've told me thus far has been like disproven in three seconds. But let me find the. Um... No, not no. Let me find the you, thing. You I'm, I would be want, happy to. It's not. OK, disproven. here we go. You haven't disproven one thing I've said. You offer I disproved evidence, the re... I offer evidence. I disproved the fetal cells. And then here we go. The UK data shows more vaccinated get sick. This ignores testing patterns. Vaccinated people are more likely to get tested in the first place and unvaccinated are likely not. So this is why people who are already vaccinated might look like there's a greater influx of people getting the virus is because if you're vaccinated, you're taking this thing seriously. Thank goodness you have more than two brain cells. So you're also more likely to go and get tested as well. This is well, according speaking to the, of brain stop, cells. Why wait, did you go stop, get tested if stop, you had a vac if you're stop, vaccinated? I'm not done. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm not done debunking this really dumb thing you just said. So this UK data specifically says this, that this is ignoring testing patterns, that this is how or I'm sorry. No, the UK data specifically clarifies how it is, uh, how it's based on testing patterns. Second of all, I'm showing here on my screen. I'd be happy to send this to you as well. A graph attached in the thing that you just cited to me because i know you just saw the headline didn't read it yeah. it actually no, shows morning it actually shows that the hospitalization rates are significantly higher for the unvaccinated 
So it is simply just vaccinated people over the age of 40 that look like they're a little bit more likely to go get tested, but they're not going to the hospital and they're not dying. Meanwhile, the unvaxxed dipshits are actually filling up hospital beds and dying at record rates. According to the data that you just brought up to me, so the vaccine is doing its job, the vaccine is protecting people from death, and you're lying to me. Well, I'm, first off, quit calling me names, because you already lost a battle when you start calling people names. Two. I will call uh, you names. True. I live across the street from a hospital, and let me tell you, they're not busy. I don't care. This is exactly why. Hold on. COVID. I'm going to, I'm trying they not to, not busy. I'm, I'm trying not to call names off. right now. I'm really trying not to call names right now, but I know, this you is called me a dipshit like three but times. And I'm really, I'm trying hard not to call you. I'm trying hard not to call you a dipshit for the fourth time here because you're not letting, you're saying more dumb shit. So when you say I live across the street, be an adult about this. Let's talk about this and stop calling me names because once when, you start doing that that means you're angry you're obviously well when angry you start getting that. mad well yes i'm mad because it's affecting people all around the world and i also well, have a grandparent die from covid but anyway vaccinated. If, so, so what are you guys worried about that's then? great so when we're talking about what you say which is hey uh you know i have a hospital across the street that's empty lol this is exactly why it is silly to base your uh overall opinions of things such as COVID rates or hospitalization rates across the fucking country based on your one little personal experience. Well, my local hospital isn't that busy. Herder. Meanwhile, you can actually look it up and see it from a statistical sense. And you can see that hospitals are absolutely being strained. Resources are being strained because of so many people with COVID. And people that are uh, unvaccinated, they make up the large amount of people, the largest chunk of people with COVID in the hospital and dying and thus far. And keep in mind that that, by the way, affects all of us. If your kid gets hurt and you need to take them to the hospital, then you might have a more challenging time. Thankfully, it sounds like your local hospital isn't too busy, but you might like that could affect people all over the world. But at the end of the day, basing this like this is a statistical thing. This is, I'm sorry, not, being, not affecting people all over the world. COVID affects people all over the world, but the hospitalization <laughs> thing affects people all over the country. And so, yeah, it just, it seems really silly to me. You see, you, you know, like this would be like me saying, well, I'm scared of driving in cars. Okay, well, why are you scared of driving a car? Well, once I had a friend that died in a car accident. It, it's like, uh, okay, but you don't usually like, base things off of just like one personal experience you know well let me ask you this why is it so important to you that a hundred percent of the population gets vaccinated if you're protected why are you worried about me being unvaccinated i feel you're as though i i feel as though i've already just explained this is if I know, you are not you don't give a shit about me <laughs> that's not true at all i want you to get vaccinated i i want you to get vaccinated uh but it affects everybody in this in, in various ways. So here's why. First of all, in order to achieve herd immunity, we need like, I think it's, I want to say 90% double vaccinated. Right now we're at 54 point something percent when it comes to double vaxxed. And we're at like 70% or whatnot when it comes to just the first vaccine. But the first vaccine on its own is not as nearly as effective as the two. Um, so when people don't get vaccinated, right, here's what happens. A couple things. One, they raise the risk of getting infected with a Delta variant. Since the Delta variant is more contagious, that's more likely to cause breakthrough infections, even for people who are vaccinated. Now, of course, it's still less likely. The vaccine still does a good job at keeping you as safe as it can. But of course, nothing is 100%, right? So that's one reason why. Second of all, like what I just said is... Even if you get COVID hypothetically and you're fine, you didn't die, your own experience shows that you're just fine, you could have given it to someone else that maybe they're fine too, but maybe they give it to someone else who's not fine. And then that person needs to go to the hospital. And then that person takes up an ICU bed. And now we're seeing this all over the country where hospital resources are being strained. And this is affecting everyone, whether you have COVID or not. We don't want our medical resources strained to the max. Well, if that's true, then A, why are nurses making TikTok dances? And B, if immunity is the goal for you guys, how come workplaces won't accept antibody tests 
I guarantee you, if I went and got an antibody test instead of having that thing shoved up my nose, you would find out that I have the antibodies. I actually would be willing to bet you wouldn't. So most studies actually I show. I guarantee you, I have the antibodies. So most studies show that. So for for um for anyone that gets COVID, a third of people that get COVID do not go on to even develop natural antibodies to begin with. They don't even get natural immunity. So that's the first thing. Second of all, there were studies that have shown that uh, even after 60 days, your natural immunity begins to wane. So natural immunity does not last forever at all. Second, uh, so this third is of all, like the thirdly, flu, basically. thirdly, this is the flu, basically. No, it's not. Thirdly, if you get the uh, <laughs> thirdly, if you have natural immunity and then you get the vaccine, that actually gives you more immunity. It's a thing, a medical term, believe it or not, called hybrid immunity, where you're able to use both your natural immunity combined with the vaccine, and that gives you even more protection. Why wouldn't you want to? You started this off with telling me that you don't want to have anything happen to you that leads to your demise. Don't get COVID. Right. Don't get COVID. Right. That is way more likely of killing you. Uh, I did have COVID. Then don't get uh, it again. Don't get the Delta variant. I'm going to get sick every year because I get the flu every year. I get a head cold. I get sick. And my natural immunity, my body develops the antibodies or gets me through it. So you realize you're defeating your own point, right? Because if you something. have some big natural immunity, then why are you getting sick every year? Meanwhile, because the people that actually have the there's no cure for the flu. There's vaccines for the flu. Right. It makes it it makes it less worse. But it I could or chances. it prevents it in some instances as well. But either way, yeah, it, this this whole natural immunity thing is really, really – I'm not calling you stupid, but it is a stupid argument. And be, it's because you're making it a dichotomy that doesn't need to be there. So by saying – Yeah, but we've had natural it's immunity not, since the beginning of time. So And how did that go? That we had a, a new millennium where we're all yes, just going to get shot. Congrats. You figured it out. We had natural immunity since the beginning of time. And how did that go? Uh, Spanish flu – uh, there, what, what was it? There was polio. Uh, do I need to think of a few other like massive outbreaks and pandemics that we've well, had throughout millennium? No, virus. no, this is, polio this is a, a dumb disease, argument again. <laughs> this is a dumb argument again, though. There, we've had natural two, immunity since the beginning. What they actually vaccinate us for as kids. You know what? what? We didn't used to use toilet fluids. paper in the beginning. You know, back in the beginning, we didn't use toilet paper, but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't use toilet paper now. Just if something used to be one way doesn't mean that we don't, we aren't able to improve this as we go on is this why you don't want to get the vaccine you're like living in the past like no the, no i mean your natural immunity like j it's not a dichotomy it's not natural immunity versus the vaccine it's natural immunity if you have it great if you don't okay that's not bad either if you have natural immunity and get the vaccine even better no because if you're if you have a natural immunity to it you don't need it that's not true it is true. It is not case. true at all. So even it's people absolute. that no, it's not. So even people that actually <laughs> even people that get natural immunity don't have as good of protection all the time against uh, the vaccine. I know, but I'm good with that. And so this again, is we're back to your own personal Other experience and not how it affects anyone my else. My own this... personal health. This that's where the problem lies. Other people are not good with me choosing not to get vaccinated. I mean. There's something called HIPAA laws, but when I walked into Walmart last year, it was put on your mask. Do you so have do a So do you realize why, blah, blah, again, ma'am, I'm trying very hard not to call you names, but when you say things to me like that, it, re it like literally what? derives a response from me that makes me want to call you very stupid. Like, it is not a violation of HIPAA laws. That's for not them. Very No, it is not. It is say. not a violation of HIPAA laws. Why isn't to be it? Excuse me. It is not about, I'm, tr I'm explaining. So what HIPAA <laughs> laws does is it protects your medical privacy when you share it with like an employer or uh, with another doctor. So for example, if you sat down with a therapist and said, sometimes I feel really depressed. And then your therapist uh, got up and said, hey, sometimes Chrissy feels really depressed. That would be a violation of HIPAA. Simply saying, hey, can you put on a mask, please? That's not HIPAA. Not even comparable, not even close. Like, it, it, yeah, like it a is. swing because and a miss. I tell okay. Them I have a medical exemption, and then they demand to know what my medical exemption. That's not a is. violation of HIPAA either. It is. It's no, an it's not. HIPAA and doesn't I mean that you have never to have. Tell to... everybody what I have. Well, when you're when you could be carrying a contagious uh, disease, then yeah, sorry.
That's just part of it. Yeah, also, it's not there. HIPAA. I was so carrying the flu two years ago, but so, nobody asked me to wear a mask and asked me if I had the flu. I just walked into Walmart like a regular person trying to spend money. Is this all so, you want is to just go to Walmart in peace? Like, it, <laughs> just get the vaccine <laughs> then. But anyway, uh, COVID-19 natural immunity versus vaccine vaccination from Nebraska Medicine. Again, I really like this source because it seems really – uh, pretty like fair and reasonable the way they go about it. Uh, I'll read you these quick bullet points here. More than a third of COVID-19 infections result in zero protective antibodies. Natural immunity fades faster than vaccine immunity. Natural immunity alone is less than half as effective than natural immunity plus vaccination. Wait, who are you getting that from? NebraskaMed.com. I'll send this to Nebraska you. NebraskaMed.com. So real world studies also indicate natural immunity short life. For example, 65% of people with a lower baseline antibody from infection. Wait, for example, 65% of people with a lower baseline antibody, antibody from infection to begin with completely lost their COVID-19 antibodies by 60 days. Oof. Great. That's the flu. <laughs> that's why you get the flu every year because you lose your antibodies. We don't want to get the COVID flu every is year. The flu. We try to. Why are COVID numbers the same? Why are COVID death numbers in, in this so country this and every the... other country the same as the flu numbers every year? This seems to be all the, of a sudden. This people seems to. I feel like I say this a lot, but like cancer anymore. They were all dying of COVID. This seems. And to... then they determined that. So you oh, notice well, how half this time now has just in. been you asking me questions. I've noticed this every. The more I have conversations with like people like you is like a lot of the times they just end up asking questions, asking questions, almost weaponizing their own ignorance. I can answer no, all these I'm questions for you. Them, so far you were like, well, what about the fetal lines? The no, 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 no. You said, <laughs> I don't want to get this because what about the fetal lines? And then I was able to give you a very reasonable explanation. Well, I have natural immunity and now I'm able to give you a uh, very reasonable explanation. Well, why this? Why this? Huh? How come this? Like exactly. this I information is questions. able to be found. So, for example, question everything. I question everything. And if there's a chance. But you don't. You're clear. You, you clearly trust someone telling you the vaccine isn't good. The COVID vaccine. I'm not getting it until they can prove to me that I'm not going to pass away from that. What about the proof no that you can pass that away from uh, from COVID? What about the fact that you can pass away from COVID? Uh, at least that's something natural that happened to me. And I didn't go willingly have somebody put inject something into my arm. What do you think about these Why people so that are about put spoons on their arm and their their magnetic sticking to them? Why what do you think about those? <laughs> Ma'am, to be fair, I don't know what kind of videos you're watching on like Infowars.com. Again, I don't have an explanation to every single bizarre story you're going to tell me about spoons sticking to people and people's blood type changing. Anybody but let's actually just talk in a more broad sense. That is that sense is happening. Okay, so that's since, happening. Right. Yeah, sure. So it since, is happening. You I know. know it. Yes. Yep. You're telling so much truth right now. Yes, Queen. I am. Anyway, um, if you want to like actually talk about this more broadly, why are you so scared that the vaccine is going to kill you? What do you think is going to happen to you? What is it that's making you fearful of this, that it's going to actually kill you? Number one, it, it enlarges people's hearts. The two people around here who got it went to bed and they never woke up. Myocarditis? Yeah. How old were they? Uh, one was 35 and the other one was like 51. Do you know how likely it is to get myocarditis after the vaccine? Uh, no, I'd rather not. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Do you know what your likelihood of dying in a car crash is? Uh. Well, I've been driving for, let's put it this way, 33 years. Doesn't matter. Do you know what your likelihood of dying in a car crash is? Could you just give me a ballpark? Can I give you a ballpark of my percentage? What do you think, generally speaking? I'm not asking you personally. I'm asking you broadly speaking. it's speak very low. It's 1 in 108. That 1 is your... in 108 people die in car crashes? Yes. That is your chances of dying in a car crash virtually every time you sit down in front of in front of the wheel to drive to Walmart. So I don't like when you come over here and say, well, myocarditis, when if we want to look at it, I actually was just talking with someone yesterday. Uh, they did a study where vaccines were given to 2.5 million people. And out of those 2.5 million people, 54 of them developed myocarditis, and from those 54 people, 79% of those people were better in, like, 
three or four days without any medical treatment. Isn't it also true that out of the millions of people that got COVID, the percent of them actually dying is like zero, 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 zero point one percent? Well, you can make it look like that. If it's that low, hold on. Why are you forcing masks on people? Because it's not that low at all. Like we've had seven hundred thousand deaths now in the this country. Uh, yeah, but out from, of the population of 330 million, do the math on that real quick. But What's it's not just it, – I, I, it's not about just like what that is in a percentage of the entire population. That's not how you do that. No, that, no, no. That's do a, the percentage. <laughs> I don't know the percentage. It it's probably people. would be small, but that doesn't matter. Like we're looking at right. this from – but but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about this from a more broad sense, which is if you look at it like – the like the uh, uh, COVID has literally caused the life expectancy in this country to decline. Like the average lifespan across the board is being negatively impacted by COVID. So if you want to say, well, out of 300 million people, 700,000, okay, blah, 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 blah. Sure. But again, like, it, do you see why that doesn't really make sense? But do you see how those numbers really reflect what people were dying of of the flu last year and the year before? It's the same exact numbers. Every year, people die of the flu. Little kids die of the flu. Old people die of the flu. Uh, young people sometimes die of the flu. It depends on your underlying conditions. And So I why wouldn't you want to get a vaccine to protect you from chances. getting it? But, then, but you're fine taking the – like – you're so contradictory. I don't even think you realize that how you're telling me every year. So many people die from the flu. So many people die. Kids even die. So many people are dying. But you're not going to take the chance with the fucking vaccine. Nope. But you're fine taking the chance with the thing that's everybody's dying that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, because like, I might not get the flu. <laughs> you might not I get might myocarditis. Not get you might not have any problems from the vaccine. What are you talking about? Right, like, you know, your likelihood of actually knowingly. dying from a vaccine is less than one thirty one thousand. Right. Like, yeah. This is yeah, this is a joke. This is bizarre to me. Like you you might not even have any negative effects from the vaccine. Yeah, like might most people. Not, might might not. The worst that would happen, I guarantee you, would be you'd feel sick a little bit the next day like you do after any vaccine. And then all done. And believe me, if you're scared of that, you're gonna really fucking hate having COVID. But here's the underlying thing. Why are they pushing people to get this vaccine? So bad because nobody gives a fuck COVID about me nobody cares about me because we want covid to be over what do you mean covid is over it's it's 18 months now march will be do, two years do you want you we, realize the delta variant is actually causing like i just mentioned a spike in cases a spike in no, hospitalizations and you realize that, that that's i know you think that because you're in another universe but that no, the not. delta variant is here and is able to proliferate because of unvaccinated people like you. So don't come over here and be like, the pandemic's over. <sighs> no, it's not. You can go outside. Other Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to tell you to rely on your own personal experiences, for God's sake. Go and Google Please. some fucking numbers, and you'll see the Delta variant, it's not pretty, okay? We want this vaccine. We want as many people to get it as possible, because the more people that are protected against this virus, the more likely it is that the virus is going to continue spreading and mutating. So now, I've heard that the Delta variant is a little bit more contagious, yet not as deadly because it's a watered down version of COVID. But if you're scared of well, it's not a watered down version, it's more contagious. But that's how any virus usually works is first old people get it and it kind of kills out the old population. And then the virus evolves and real and almost like I don't want to say realizes that's kind of not the right term. But anyway, like. The virus understands, it grows to learn that like it would be better to rather than kill, you'll have a longer lifespan by infecting younger people. So again, it's not just about death though. So now with the Delta variant, you're at a higher risk of getting it. Children are even at a higher risk of getting it, although thankfully not nearly as much as adults still. And that can maybe not kill you, but it could lead to long-term side effects. Did you know that COVID can cause myocarditis? Did you know, according to uh, the CDC, during March 2020 and January 2021, patients with COVID-19 had nearly 16 times the risk for myocarditis compared with patients who didn't have COVID? Like, 
Well, do you really think I trust the CDC? Well, no, I, but you <laughs> don't t- like trust anything, everybody. I would tell you, because you're living in denial, like I've already said. So I'm mainly no just way. saying this so that when the, the people CDC watch this, they, can, they can learn something. people's rights because of a virus. You keep moving all over and the place. First it was the vaccine's going to kill me, then it's... Came out, nobody wore masks. AIDS was the scariest thing to hit in a long time. And guess what? None of us were wearing masks. Guess what? AIDS doesn't spread that way. Congratulations. Yeah, Very big brain take. Then. I'm so we surprised. I've then. never I've never heard a smarter, bigger brain take than that. That is probably one of the smartest things I've ever heard in my life. But anyway, myocarditis, I thankfully, know. is also very um, mild in most cases. So still, if you're scared of myocarditis from the vaccine, you should be even more scared of COVID because that's much like, more likely to actually give you myocarditis. Second of all, COVID can lead to long-term effects, lung damage, and for men that get it, it can literally cause erectile dysfunction in some people. So you th- would know there are a lot of issues there. That's very funny, very clever. Congrats. Um, and so, like, there are a lot of possible long-term effects there that you're completely ignoring. You're just like, well, do you die from it? There's more to it than that. I haven't been able to smell a turkey cooking in almost two years now. You can't tell me that I didn't have COVID because I have no sense of smell. And it's only certain things like body odor, uh, turkeys cooking in the oven, uh, any any type of meat cooking. I can't smell it. I can't smell trash. That's a good thing. If only you um, had something to prevent you from getting like another version of that virus, right? No, because it sounds I really have, bad. It sounds I, like you I have some long term smell since March of 2020. So it sounds like you had long term side effects from the virus. Right. So why are right. you now why risking get getting the? Again? So why are you risking getting the Delta variant? But why would I risk getting shot with it and I can get sick all over again? You, I wouldn't wait, do that to myself. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know how the vaccine works? You know it doesn't give you the virus itself, right? Only the Johnson and Johnson one does that. Well, why would you get it then? Well, the mRNA vaccine doesn't actually put a dead version of the virus in you like the Johnson & Johnson one does. The mRNA vaccine puts a spike protein from the virus in you. So you're not actually dying of spike. So you're so you're and people are dying of covid. So you're not at a higher risk of like getting covid from the vaccine. People are not getting covid from the vaccine. That's that's not how this works. So you don't believe in shedders then? Excuse me. Do you believe in shedders? I don't know what people that... who shed the vi- the vaccine onto other people. The spike proteins cause the people who are vaccinated to shed their vaccine on other people. Have you heard that? I have not, but I've really heard enough like Alice in Wonderland stories here. Like at the end of the day, all I've been told this entire time is complete bullshit and stories. That's all you've been doing. You've been telling me bedtime stories about how you're so scared of the vaccine that's been proven safe and effective. And yet you're telling me now, well, I had long term side effects from covid, but I'd rather risk getting covid again. And I'm going to get it every year instead of getting the vaccine, which has been proven to be safe and effective. Like, I just because my my I believe that I have antibodies towards it. All right. Well, believe harder because you're going to need it because according to all available information, your antibodies are long fucking gone at this point. I mean, even in the best case scenario, your antibodies wouldn't last this long, but that's fine with you. You know, you seem to be very fine with a lot of like um, delusional ideas. I would recommend <laughs> if I were you take but some I of deny the, that take I some deny of this. That. I know you do. Of course you do. Your whole life is living in denial. But what I would do if I were you is <laughs> I would funny. actually s- what I would do if I were you is I would sit down and some of the things you were telling me, write it down and write a novel. I think it would go really good in the fiction section. Yeah, I guess I guess you're right about that. I really should write all this stuff down before I uh, agree to uh, doing a debate with somebody because uh, literally I have nothing in front of me. I'm sitting in bed just, you know. It doesn't Watch matter. I have barely anything in front of me, too. And you were the one asking me for sources. I have some things yeah, in front right. of me, but I also do my research no, no, on no. this. You invited and you, me. You'll... You invited me. And I said, yeah, I didn't know it was going to be at this second. <laughs> if I had known it was going to be like this second, I may have said no, but or maybe not. But because I'm pretty uh, confident that. All right. I well, I'll send you this, too, then. So now you can look at this on your phone and everything else. But. I don't take that as an insult that I just know my shit when it comes to this stuff. And you'll notice that since I know my shit about this stuff, I'm not actually afraid of the vaccine. It's funny because you come on here asking a lot of questions, but it turns out when you have the answers to those questions, there's not really a lot to be afraid of. At the end of the day, Chrissy, you have the the vaccine. I'm asking you if you know certain things that I've heard that there's a difference. 
and you always try to spin it in your favor, but that's okay. I mean, I'm that's, humble. I don't need I'm to not win spinning anything, everything, anything in my stuff. favor. It's just you're saying bullshit to me. But it's not. At the end of the let's, day, let's I know that you're. Then. No, at let's the end of the day, the I, no, no, no. We're done with this conversation. I, I've had enough brain worms <laughs> from this. But All right, at the end of the day, you have the ability to be smarter, Chrissy. You are choosing to be willfully ignorant here. It's like being at a crossroads and one thing has a giant sign that says, hey, the bridge is out. Don't go this way. Sudden death. And the other one is like a clear path that's completely fine with lovely trees. And you're the person nope. choosing the bridge is out direction. That's you nope. right now. I, I'm choosing natural immunity. Natural that doesn't health. last that long. And that is less likely that, to uh, protect you against the that Delta variant. Flu. That tells me that COVID is the flu, that okay. I have nothing to worry about until I'm around 70 Okay. Um, yep. Trust your feelings. That's, that. <laughs> that seems to work a lot for the liberals, right? Feelings over facts. So keep it up. See you later. Feelings over facts. That's you right now, but I'll see you later. Yeah, have a good one. A few moments later. Hello, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I saw your comment you left on my Instagram after our first conversation. By the way, I didn't win. So I was feeling a little bit defeated. Um, Back here for more. Um, I, first thing I want to address is the thing you sent me. That's okay. Um, talking to me? Yes, that's fine. It's, it's hard to, let me turn down this. Okay. Can you hear me any better? Yes. Okay. So the thing you sent me talking about how blood types can be changed. Yeah. You realize that has nothing to do with the vaccine, right? Right. It doesn't have anything to do with this vaccine, but it has to do what I believe has to do with your last set of shots that you get as a kid. Wait, no, it has nothing to do with any vaccine. I literally but looked up. But how do you know I, that for sure? Because I tried to find just anything to support that claim on your behalf. I searched up vaccines change gut enzymes. And I'm looking all over to see, is there anything here about this? Is there anything maybe claiming to debunk something like this? Nothing. The only thing I can find here is role of the uh microboida which i believe is they're talking about like human bacteria in the way that that works with immunity and like vaccine response but it has nothing to do with changing your enzymes so like i mean i read the live science thing gut bacteria enzyme can transform a blood cells type that's definitely pretty fucking crazy but like <coughs> Why are you only like going about this halfway? Why don't you look at this like all the way around, right? Well, what can change? What can transform a blood cell's type? Well, gut bacteria. Well, what can cause that? Things like E. coli, things like salmonella, other kinds of issues, not vaccines. They're doing it at will, though. So it can't just be salmonella or... Uh, you know, a fever or something. Um, so what? it's definitely you... something else. No, uh, it's not. The this transmission is why I... point. I can't. I can't figure out anything else but the fact that the different only difference between my two sons is one refused vaccines after the age of nine or ten, and the other one got all his shots. He went in the military, got everything he needed. This is such a lame argument, and it doesn't— It's it, not, though. Yes, well, it is. There's a million other that? things that varied between your son that got the vaccines and your sons that your, your son that didn't also. Did one of them get sick and one of them didn't? Did he ever have the stomach flu? Do you ever remember him throwing up this one time? Like, that's more likely to have resulted in changing the blood cell type— what you're saying is their blood cell type changed, and I just feel like it's the vaccine. Like, but by, by that logic, like, I'm a vegan, right? Well, I feel like maybe it's because you guys were eating meat. That's why it was. Like, if we're just going to start throwing around our feelings and making up an explanation, then, like, we can just say anything. My theory is the only one that makes sense, though, honestly, because you can't just eat meat and all of a sudden your blood type changes. Blood types just don't spontaneously change over your lifetime. Um, yeah, but and the articles back my facts that say the enzyme in your own guts or what they use to switch your blood type, I guess, Hold because not enough You're... people donate blood. No, stop. They are not using anything to switch the blood type. Stop making this. But into you a can't say that. No, 100%. I, 
Well, agree you can't to that, say what you you're saying with even 1% certainty, okay? So what you're saying right now is a conspiracy theory bullshit. What you're telling me is it's that— It's not, though, because yes, I, there have is. Proof, I have actual proof that my one son's blood type changed. You have no proof and... that that was from the vaccine. Zero. The no, only thing from, is, is because one vaccine. son refused vaccines, the other didn't. Did one of them throw up and one didn't? Did one ever get they, food poisoning and that one didn't? All throughout their lives. <laughs> did one of that Did one of your sense, sons though. ever have? Did one of your sons ever get food poisoning and the other didn't? No. Did one of your Never sons had. ever throw up and the other one didn't? Uh, no. They usually get the flu together. Okay. Well, either way, it doesn't. <laughs> it changes nothing at all. Uh, this has nothing to do with the vaccine. It does because what it what what to me what this means is you do not have body autonomy any longer in this country, and that's exactly how I feel. You are I cannot work in this country in this state unless I wear a mask. That's I I'm not given that choice anymore. So I have are we to moving wear a mask. off the Are we moving off the other point then? No, I'm just talking about that your blood type changing without you knowing it or giving consent. It's what? just another what? thing that's being Stop. done to people without Stop. consent no, or I'm body I'm stopping autonomy. you right now. No, 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 no. This is ridiculous what you're telling me right now. It's you're not, Yes, you're saying that because people are um, – d they're intentionally trying to switch our blood type? Who's they? Yes. Can you – break this down for me a little bit, please. Who's they? Uh, well, from the article stating, it's scientist. I discovered this solely by accident. I was FaceTiming so my son just like are e Wait, so scientists are scheming to change everyone's blood types with the vaccine? Not this vaccine. So you realize that even the thing you sent me as your screenshot actually disproves that. So considering the fact that so many people have gotten vaccines throughout history, we would have discovered something like this far sooner than just you on your like random little accident. Even the thing no, you said. No, because hold on, I, I wait. Think that even no, 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 really no. E no, even the thing you sent me says a few enzymes discovered in the past can change type B blood to type O, but the newly discovered group of enzymes are the first to effectively change A to type O. This right. was from and 2018. This was something so that, that was a newly discovered. Theory. It is a conspiracy theory. It's not. Because, I have yes, proof if, that it happened. No, I have proof. you don't have proof. Here's the thing. I, if I you came up, no, if you came up to me and said, hey, did you know that gut bacteria enzymes can transform uh, a blood cells type at certain times? That would be true. And if I were to say that was a conspiracy theory, that would be wrong. But that's not what you're telling me. You're saying they are doing this with the vaccine in order to, I don't know, some evil malicious plot to change our blood type. All right, you, let's realize how, this. you realize how? You realize how? Wait! You realize how the one? Let you, me let me speak. You cannot say that I said it's this vaccine that's doing it to people. It is not the COVID vaccine. My thought is it's your last set of vaccines that you get from the doctor. <sighs> your childhood vaccines when you're nine or ten years old. So why wouldn't we because have seen something like this happen sooner? So why is it just now in 2018 that they found the specific gut bacteria enzyme? That can affect uh, a blood cells type and actually has nothing to do with anything related to the vaccines. And this was just discovered in 2018. Why wasn't well, that discovered that would be sooner? one way to change your gut uh, enzymes, though. That's the only no, way to that's, I also gut. No, stop. Fact check. Gut, Sorry. Mainstream media How fact check is coming in. your gut? No, I looked this up for you also. The vaccines don't change anything with your gut bacteria enzymes but you either. you don't know that for sure. We would know based on studies. There's nothing to even suggest it. Again, I searched this up. Vaccines change gut enzymes. And there, it's, it doesn't like change your enzymes. It, it, the most that you have here is that uh, gut enzymes can sometimes play a role in uh, your like. Hold on, let me pull up the study again one second. In uh, vaccine immune responses. Nothing to do with like changing gut enzymes we already know what affects it and again it's getting shit like food poisoning and stuff that actually affects this
Getting That's what can transform the does not has never changed your blood type. This has never. How do you know that? See, it's, is, you, you're just telling me stories right now. Because it's never been right discussed now. before. It's never been written about. The first time I've ever heard of that. So why do you not hold yourself I to the same standard? Because it's also never type, been written about that. Changed. So it's also never been written about or discovered or discussed that uh, vaccines no. can change gut bacteria enzymes. So why aren't you applying that same logic to 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 your reasoning here? What's the question? The question was, you, what did you just tell, um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we both like lost track there for a second. <laughs> yeah. Um, you were, uh, go ahead and just tell me what you were saying again, too. I don't remember right now. <laughs> it was um, just whether or not the, the gut enzymes can change there. Basically, right. you said that. You don't believe this. You don't believe that food poisoning can change oh, yeah. your gut enzymes. Right. Because it hasn't your been blood, discussed and it hasn't been talked about. Change. Where it, first of all, well, here, you're okay, right. It can't, but I, that's not I what's happening. You're just I making stuff my up again. Up and my blood type did not change. So, again... Can we try to think outside of your own personal experiences here for a, for a second? <laughs> no. R remember, <laughs> your own experience means really very little in the grand scheme of things. So, again, you're telling me I don't believe that food poisoning can change gut enzymes, even though that's literally the explanation given as to what can affect it based on the scientific evidence. Meanwhile, why are you not applying this exact same standard to yourself in regards to the vaccine thing it actually has never been discussed or written about that the vaccine can change your gut enzymes or something and it's never been discussed that throwing up can change your gut enzymes i didn't Don't say you throwing think up would, necessarily would i was that? trying to think of what the food well, no, it was recently discovered in 2018 the screenshot you sent me said this do you need to reread it do you want no, to reread what you already sent me? That one said they can change A types now. The the originally the newly they discovered now they learned how to change A types. The newly they're, discovered. The problem is, is they're messing with your body autonomy. Who's they? No one has okay. right to wait, change wait, wait, anything wait. about you, Hunter. Who's they? Anybody, scientist, your doctor, the hospitals, people taking your blood, people giving you vaccines. Who knows what they're giving you with that mRNA stuff? Well, I don't know. I know, that. actually, I, don't like spike proteins. I know you I don't, don't but them. this is just going back into the same circle again, which is where you basically weaponize your own ignorance. It's actually a very clever tactic that a lot of like anti-vax people use where basically I'm not, I'm not anti-vax. You are anti-vax. I'm vaccinated you, up till this youngest one. And I don't. Okay, let me tell you it, something. that this doesn't make you not anti-vax. Nope. My sons, all all my kids are all have all had their vaccines. I've had all my vaccines. And when this one hit nine or 10 years old, he said, I'm not doing it. I don't want it. And I could not force him to get jabbed. So he's, you know, okay. he made that's, up his own mind. That's fine. But can we just concede the gut enzyme thing? And then we can talk a little bit about mask mandates. Sure, that, sweetie. What? Yes. Oh, I just told my son to stir his uh, noodles. <laughs> oh. Um. Can we just concede the gut enzyme thing? This... No, I, I'm not conceding to that because I don't believe that. I, I believe that it's in, okay. somehow injected into your blood. It's got to be into your bloodstream somehow. How would else would it okay. get access to your own blood cells? And what it does is it strips the sugar antigens off of your blood cell. How does that happen? All right. Good story, George Lucas. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. <laughs> um, okay. The Now what? The push now, for control, the masks, they don't have a right to force us, this, that, and the other thing. So they literally, by definition, do actually have the right to enforce mask mandates uh, and even vaccine mandates by, on a state-by-state -state basis. They can, the federal government probably couldn't uh, mandate vaccines for like all American citizens. Uh, they don't have the right to do that. But states absolutely do. So for someone like you, you're a very proud patriot. I hope that you're not going to come over here saying now that like America is like flawed and broken or whatever, considering the fact that U.S. the U.S. Constitution's 10th Amendment literally is what gives the states the right to protect public health. 
Right. But don't you think after two years, uh, the flu has gone already? Well, I'm not conceding that it's the flu because when you people, say that, that's a lie. Uh, if someone's healthy and they're not sick, why would you mask that person? Because you don't know if they're sick. And the whole right, reason— you don't know. So why would you mask somebody? Why would you give them a bitch muzzle if they're not sick? So that's are you like upset saying, about the— oh, Wait, well, before we— No, 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 stop. Because you keep— bag. But you keep going off to all a bunch of different things here. So you said that they don't have the right to do it. So do you recognize right. then that the state does have the right to do it? You just don't agree with what the state has the rights to do? No, they don't have the right to strap a mask on your face in order for you to be allowed to work in a state. Wait, I, I don't know they when this, literally this kind of do. So under, under the 10th Amendment and Supreme Court decisions over nearly like 200 years, state governments have the primary authority to control the spread of dangerous diseases within their jurisdictions. The 10th Amendment is what gives states powers that are not given to the federal government, and this has been ruled by the Supreme Court by legal experts, both conservative and liberal, throughout hundreds of years that the state is within the right to do this. So unless you're going to tell me that the Constitution is wrong— if you want to trample over the Constitution, I mean, I guess that's that's on you. I thought it was us liberals, though, that are supposed to be trying to, like, burn down America. We're looking at I'm looking at I have my pocket Constitution here and I'm looking at Amendment 10. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. That's what it says to the states respectively. And the Supreme Court has ruled right. under or that precedent. to the people. And the state so if has, a person does not want to wear a mask, then they're not allowed to work. How no, is that? that's that's too that's you're interpreting this to the most literal sense. So when the uh, Supreme Court interprets this, they interpret this as all right. The Constitution doesn't say that the state can't do this, but the Constitution also doesn't say uh, specifically that the uh, federal government could do this either. So then that gray area falls in with the state's rights to. Uh, put in certain restrictions, business restrictions, mask mandates uh, within their jurisdiction. That is what gives them the right to do that. They don't have the right over my body to make me wear a mask. That's ridiculous. So would you make these same That's arguments like saying, when it comes well, to things like clothes? I might shit my pants, so let me wear a diaper. Everybody here has to wear a diaper because you might be crapping your pants tonight. So the state literally forces you to wear clothes. They force no, you they to force get... you to wear a mask. I have the I have Wait. three common rights: the right to breathe air unrestricted, the right to eat, and the right to drink water. And they're taking one of those away from me. I'm not allowed to How go do you outside feel about and George breathe Floyd? air unrestricted. How do you People feel are about... getting arrested over this. Do you think that's right? That's ridiculous. So uh, it's just. You're so all over the place with so many wrong things quickly that it's like hard for me to actually keep track. So like, not, I'm not when wrong. you're saying that, but yes, is, you said the government. You can say it's wrong. That's your opinion, but no, you've I mean... been giving me your opinion so far, and I've been trying to like spoon feed you reality. So, well, if this if this is all about health, then why did the state? What I'm, I'll go by Pennsylvania. Why did they um? They closed down gyms and stuff, right? Yet they kept the liquor distributors open. Again, another this is question. Health, We're not here to play 20 McDonald's? questions. We're trying I mean, to talk about food. one thing at a time. And the reason they left those open was because, unfortunately, some people have an alcohol dependence. It's quite clear that uh, with the hospitals and the hospital resources being strained with COVID and whatnot, we also don't need people dealing with alcohol poisoning when they've gotten themselves in a predicament that they uh, can't get alcohol despite the fact that they uh, rely on it. That's actually a very that reasonable you, explanation. Too much alcohol gives you alcohol poisoning. Uh, if you don't have alcohol and you're an addict, then you would have a withdrawal. Sorry, not alcohol poisoning, withdrawal, whatever. But you know what I mean, and that's the reason why. So it's because No, they... you don't get to say you know what I mean, but then call me a, a, you know, a dipshit and stuff if I can't get the words out correctly i haven't incriminated you at all for getting words wrong <laughs> so far i'm getting mad at you because everything you're saying to me is a lie and in the context you, of yes in the context of the me. broader scheme of things when you say well the government doesn't have the right to force me to wear a mask the state literally forces you to wear clothes how do you feel about that i'm asking you how do i feel about the state making me wear clothes they force you to wear clothes 
Right, but me wearing clothes isn't taken away from my oxygen intake. Okay, so me? then we need to debunk that first. So let's go ahead and read here from Mayo Health Clinic. I'll be happy to walk you through this if you need. But it says, myth number three, wearing a mask will increase the amount of carbon dioxide I breathe and will make me sick. Is that what you're getting at? That it kind of is restricting your uh, your oxygen? Yeah, it's restricting my oxygen. So uh, for many years, healthcare providers have worn masks for extended periods of time with no adverse health reactions. The CDC recommends wearing cloth masks while in public, and this option is very breathable. There is no risk of, uh, I don't know how to say this, hypoxia, which is lower yeah. oxygen. Okay, there is no risk of hypoxia, which is lower oxygen levels in healthy adults. Carbon dioxide will freely diffuse through your mask as you breathe. If you feel uncomfortable in your mask, try to limit your talking and breathe through your nose. That will reduce the humidity level in your mask. Oh, so so they it are literally does your not restrict your level, oxygen. Your humidity level rises up in your mask, which causes you to sweat, which causes you to your heart to work harder. No, so, that's a lie. Yeah, so let's let's again look at this where we've backed up from. First, I have a right to breathe. And now, right. yeah, but it makes you sweaty. Thank you. You realize where we go here? You do have a right to breathe. Thankfully, the mask doesn't restrict that. It does, though. No, it doesn't. It does. Did you ever see anybody who mountain climbs? Do you know they have to train for weeks this wearing is, a mask? I don't a, know a, how to have a conversation with you. It's like having a conversation with a levels? brick wall. No, it's not. I had a friend who mountain climbed. He sent me pictures of yep, him you have wearing a, a mask I know. Yep, to you have reduce a story. his oxygen level. So when he climbs to the top, he doesn't get sick. Guess what? When and if I doctors have to wear a mask, then they get to take it off here and there. When I'm at work for 8, 10, 12 hours in a warehouse, they make you wear a mask. And I was told if you don't you're not allowed to speak unless you put that mask over your nose. You know what I said to them? I bet you can guess. Go fuck yourself or something very Exactly. Stupid. And yep. the double finger and I walked out of there so um, so you're willing no to lose your job me. because you got right so talk. caught up. No, no, no. It's just right it's sad breathe. to me that it's it's sad to me that you're now like not only are you willing to risk yourself and like fellow Americans with like the virus and everything else. You're now literally risking your job because you've gotten so caught up in like delusional Facebook memes about everything. No. So one, it, it the mask does not restrict your free. oxygen. I don't know how much I need to like. Do, do you want me to read it to you again? Do you need me to like, do you, do you want me to say it three times? No, Maybe like three times you, the if charm? You're, if, if, if you're that smart, you could read the back of one of those um, surgical mask things that says this does not uh, prevent the spread of any droplets getting in there. Yes, this thank you, NPC. This does not stop viruses from getting through. Yes. So people are getting the virus even though they're wearing the wow, mask. Wow, it's almost like you have zero understanding of the point of wearing the mask. No, and it completely shows when you say dumb Yes, when you say dipshittery about. like this, it shows. And so plus, one, you and don't why are wear people the putting it on two year olds. Me. Two year olds have virtually zero ma'am, excuse me. You ma do not wear the mask to protect yourself from getting the virus. You wear it but to But it's not my duty to protect excuse me. you. If it's, you have the vaccine it, and stuff, excuse you me, have nothing to worry about. Hell, excuse me, ma'am. So you wear the mask to pr uh, protect people around you so that if you cough, sneeze, talk loudly, the mask slows the spread of the virus by catching some of the droplets, the spit droplets that oh, COVID travels that's in. That's right. I get it. My condom protects you. Your condom protects me. That's how can I forget that? Wow. It's almost like some things are totally different. You know, it it's almost is. like those things are not analogous at all. Do you have any other it big is. brain takes? I, I, I honestly don't think anybody gives two craps about anybody. This has made people angrier. It's hilarious uglier. you say this. You're the Nobody one that doesn't. No, 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 no. Anyone anymore? I don't. This is ridiculous. I don't want to hear you up here virtue signaling about how everyone's so mean. Boo hoo! When you just came up it here is. and said that you're uh, how other people. Other people's safety and other people's health is none of my business. I don't it's care not. about that. In the workplace, it is. And you know what? It's not, though. It is. And you know what? It isn't. Employ employers have a right to protect other workers from getting sick. So what's funny is people like you are very obsessed with this, like, freedom bullshit. But you know what? If you're getting sick, 
you can't live your life freely. So it turns well, out well, that there's also such a thing this. as negative well, freedom. Why is it all you sudden, have a right why to was not, this not back in the eighties when AIDS came around? Why was this not here when SARS came out? Every time you make that argument, you actually give me well, AIDS. Well, why? An answer the question. Because why, AIDS why didn't though? spread the same way. You're putting you're you're making it, me want to call it, names right now. The exact same way as allegedly COVID flu does through droplets, through sneezing. Just keep saying it. It's really cool. Whenever you keep repeating lies, it, it becomes like it just becomes more true. It's not lies. It's absolute it is, 100% yeah. truth. It's literally it's sad right now. I, I'm it's like listening to the uh like dementia ridden rambles of like a forgotten grandparent. That's what you sound like right now. You sound like no, you're like Alice lost in Wonderland with how fucking delusional you are. I'm not calling you names. You have the ability to come out of it. I can debate you without calling you names, but you can't debate without calling me names. That is the sign of a weak mind. I'm sorry. If, you know if, what? The, you know I, what? Another sign. You, you, you know what? You're right. You got me. You know what? Another really. You know what? Another video. sign of a really weak mind is when you uh, refuse to look at every ounce of evidence that contradicts your worldview, and then instead of accepting the fact that maybe you're just wrong, instead thinking that somehow you're smarter than all of the medical health professionals and the international consensus, somehow you're just the magical, big brain, one and only unique person that it's knows just more, me. just so that you can it's, cope it's with the fact that you're woefully and wrong and you're, too arrogant you're really to admit like it. A you're really putting down like a black and Hispanic people too, because they, they are I Honestly, don't care. Go ahead and vaccine. get a black Nothing or Hispanic person say, up. Why do you keep trying to virtue signal? That. I'll be more than and happy to tell them that they're being really dumb by not getting the vaccine also. No, I never said they're dumb. They're not dumb at I all. I would tell them they were being dumb. You don't need to say well, that's, anything. That's but, ridiculous. And they would be pissed at you. Let's put it that way. I don't care. I, when this came out, I researched as much as I could. I, I, I spent all my gas money There is money no way in hell you've done research stores, outside of InfoWars and maybe Blaze Media. Like, so everything you're saying to me is either the oldest NPC talking point in the book or just a full-out falsehood. Oh, or a bonus personal story about how one time my son took a vaccine and then a metal spoon stuck to his ass or whatever. Like, this is what we've been hearing the entire time. And this no, is why I get... That's not even close to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is your blood type was changed without your permission. Can you just make an argument? No why don't they have the right to do it? In America, we are not a free country. Certain states are, but a lot of states are not. So do and you think I'm that some people have... That is not free. How do you... Th how, do you think that some people have the freedom to not get sick? What? Do you think that some people in society have the freedom to not get sick? Freedom to not get sick? I, so, I for example, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I'll, I'll explain this a little bit more. But like, yes, I'm a blonde. Help me. But like if you – well, I actually didn't even mean that to sound as condescending as it came across. But anyway, for example, you have a right in this country to not get murdered. Okay? So like – if you walk outside, right, and someone else is running around saying, well, other people's life is not my problem. This is just about me and my life, and I want to live my freedom. And for me, my version of freedom is swinging around with a hatchet in my hand with a blindfold on my face. And then – See, now you're giving personal experiences that don't – I'm not. I'm giving you a very clear-cut example. No, 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 like no. That. I'm explaining to you a hypothetical here. I'm giving you a mental right. test. So – it's so that you are able to see that you're not able to live your life freely if every time you step outside your door, you're getting a hatchet in your back. You can't do that. So the state restricts other people's freedom because well, you have a right to not get killed. And well, if, if the somebody state comes up and stabs you in the back, that's not anything you can help. But when you step out but, of the no, house, no, 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 it's not about you. It's about the person who stabbed you. What about them, right? You just said other people's health isn't my problem. Well, maybe they're thinking, well, other people's life isn't my problem. This is my body. I own the knife and I want to do this shit. Right. And people get killed all the time. But then the, they can also go to jail for it. The state says the state restricts other people's freedom to kill people because if people are getting killed, they can't live their lives freely. If, if some freedoms are not restricted, 
then ultimately everyone's freedom will suffer. So like that's because we value life in this country. Well, some of us do. We value right. that person's life. People that but don't want to get, get vaccinated because they get too scared of a, a minion meme on Facebook certainly are. Yeah. If you but. get sick by somebody, you cannot prove that germ came from me. There might be somebody else standing next to you. You might have got that germ earlier from that other guy. My with point the, stands you know, regardless. And I think there. that you're you know that and that's why you're unable to answer it. No, I, I absolutely answered it. If someone takes a knife, that's intent to stab you. When I step out of the house and I have the sniffles. I don't think I'm going to go out and kill somebody with okay, it. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, let's let's put it back with the blindfold then. They didn't have the intent to stab you, but they're running around spinning in circles with the blindfold on their face holding an axe. And then they kill you by hitting you in the, a uh, in the back by accident. So you have a right to not get killed. And right. their That's freedom to kill you in that aspect. <laughs> and their freedom in that aspect is restricted to protect your freedom. Do you understand? Right. Well, you're talking about killing somebody and making I'm only somebody saying killing because it's possibly. the it's that's the, two different no, things. No, that's just you the further even... No, it's the furthest extreme because it really tests the logic there. Because it's the same thing with drunk driving. So it's my body, my choice. I own the car, but the state says you cannot consume this liquor you cannot put what you want in your body whenever you fucking want and then control your property you can't do that because that might restrict other people's freedom you might not Wrong. kill people Actually, you, you might crash into their car though drinks you might... depending on your body weight and you can drive home safely it's the people you're not allowed to drive drunk that's people. what i said i don't know what your this like snarky attempt at like it's not, you can not drive home with two beers or whatever. <laughs> That's not what I said. You're not able to drive drunk. And so your freedoms in that aspect, again, are restricted for the sake of other people's freedom. Because turns out if someone else is walking out their door and then they get hit in the, co in the fucking leg, maybe they don't die, but they break their leg getting hit by a drunk You're driver, their, that, though, their freedoms you, are now restricted. They actually saw you drive into that person with a physical car that is linked to you. So what are we going to go around testing everybody's DNA now? Look, let's stick it up Jenny's nose. Oh, this is from, you know, Harry. This is Harry's DNA. You, that, that sounds ridiculous. You're never going to you know prove that's not what I'm who saying. gave who what. You, you, you know can't that's not what that. I'm saying. That's not at all what I'm I know, saying. But I'm not saying we're going to go off and see who spread COVID to who. Think about this in a hypothetical for a minute, all right? Try to think about this as like just it's not in the real world here. Try to just think of this more broadly speaking for a second. Your freedoms on a daily basis, you, literally, your freedoms are restricted on a daily basis for the protection of other people's freedom. And since it's not something super hyper political, you don't give a shit about it. I, I don't agree with that. It's, it's kind of political. People get political about this stuff all the time. We also know politicians that have gotten off of drunk driving charges and stuff, so... It is kind of political. No, I mean it hasn't been hyper politicized. Well, like why you're would not you getting think super this COVID flu is hyper politicized. Oh, uh, did you have anything else you want to talk about? I don't think I can hear. No, I, I did you have anything else you wanted to talk about? No, but we'll end on that note. The masks are a facade for the mail in voting excuse. So that's what I think. Yeah, we'll end with another delusion. Goodness. Hey, I'll I'll <sighs> I'll hook you up with a therapist. Um I would I suggest don't need like, no therapist. Yeah, actually, I seriously, and this isn't even a roast, sincerely believe that you need to have a talk with a therapist. No. Maybe I'm a, a psych. Mom. You're right. You know I'm what? You're very, right, actually. I, if, I take if that I back. As strong as I am now, me and these kids Can I correct spanked. myself? I take that back. You don't need to talk to a therapist. You need to talk to a psychiatrist. Oh, because geez, they have the ability to again. prescribe Always medication. With the insult. Why do you do the mental health insults if you're a liberal now? Because aren't you supposed to be on the side of like people with mental health issues and like transgender I didn't say because it was that's a, actually a mental health I didn't health say illness. that it wasn't it. I literally told you it wasn't an insult that time. I'm being sincere. I think that actually medication would probably really benefit you. There's I would never take any type of psych medication. Um Well, you better not. I'm they use fetal cell best lines. for me and my body. No. And until the day that they're going to staple a mask on my face, I will not wear one. Mhm. Mm I'm sure that's what's going to happen, too. But um <laughs> Yeah. yeah All right. Well, I appreciate the conversation again, uh, George Lucas. Uh, continue living in the fucking delusion, I guess.
Have All a good right. one. All right. Thanks, Hillary Avalone. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.